In previous videos, which I've linked below, I showed you how to use the pre-built word lists within Kali to crack WPA passwords. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own word lists. We're gonna use an application called Crunch, which makes it very, very easy to create various types of word lists. So if you wanna create your own word list, this is a very easy way to do it. Okay, so in Kali, if I type word lists, I can see pre-built word lists. Various word lists are found in user share word lists. So as an example, the Rock U word list is a very popular word list. This word list contains millions of passwords. Great word list to use if you wanna try and crack passwords. These are stolen passwords. So these are actual passwords that people have used. Millions of passwords in this word list. Various other word lists are available. We've got an Nmap word list, we've got Metasploit, Fast Track, various other word lists, but let's create our own word lists. So to do that, I'm gonna use the command crunch. And if you use dash H, that'll give you help. You can also use dash dash help, gives you similar kind of information. So once again, crunch dash dash help, the command to use is fairly simple. It's crunch, minimum password length, maximum password length, and then we've got a whole bunch of options. Okay, so let's go to my home directory and let's use the command crunch. Minimum password length will be one, maximum will be five. I'm gonna output the data to my word list one. Press enter. It will generate this amount of data 70 meg in size, it's not a gig or a terabyte or petabyte. So many lines have been generated. So I can use the command less my word list to read that word list. You can see password length is A because we started with one and then it goes to two characters. If I continue down, this will then go to three characters and then we'll continue until I get to four and then five characters. So it's created, and I'll just go to the end of the file. Notice it's created passwords from going to the top, A going to the end, five Zs or five Zs if you prefer. And that's once again, because we specified password length of one to five. I didn't specify the characters to use, so it only used lowercase in this example. So I'll clear the screen and let's run crunch again. In this example, I'll specify eight to eight. So minimum length is eight, maximum length is eight. These are the characters to use in the password. So digits zero, one, two, up to nine, and I'm gonna output this to word list two. Now, because I previously typed this command, I can press the right key in Kali to autocomplete the command. But once again, command is crunch, minimum, maximum length, characters to use, and I'm gonna output the information to this file. This will now contain 100 million lines. It's 858 meg in size. So as you can see, this is a much bigger file. We can see that it's generated 78% and now 100% of the output. So if I type less, my word list two, because that's the word list that I created, you can see that it starts with eight zeros, then seven zeros and a one, seven zeros and a two, and just goes through all the options. So paging down, you can see it then goes to thousands, and this will just continue through all of the variations. So all the variations from eight zeros and go right to the end, eight nines. And if I go backwards, you can see all those combinations. So clear the screen. Alice shows me that I've got my two word lists, which I could use. So once again, if I look at my first word list, that's what it contains. And then if I look at my second word list, that's what it contains. It's very simple to create word lists using Crunch. Now, there are a lot of options with Crunch. You can use the command man crunch to see the documentation or manual with regards to Crunch. So once again, command is Crunch, minimum length, maximum length, character string, and any options that you wanna use. Minimum length is the minimum number of characters in a password. Maximum is maximum, that's fairly simple. Then you can specify 
the character strings to use. So let's do another example of that. So as an example, crunch minimum characters one, maximum characters five. We've got lowercase, we've got uppercase, and then we've got digits, and I'm gonna output that to the file called my word list three. In this example, it's gonna be 5,313 meg. That's the number of lines that it's gonna generate. That's the number of bytes. You can see it's 9% completed. Now in a separate video, which I've linked here and below, I showed you how to use a GPU to do a brute force attack using Hashcat against WPA passwords. So you could pre-generate passwords using Crunch, or you could just go and use a brute force attack using a GPU. I'll show you some additional brute force attacks using a very powerful GPU in another computer in a separate video. But this shows you how easy it is to create basic word lists using Crunch. You can see at this point it's at 69%. In this example, I'm using Kali within a virtual machine on my Mac. So I'm not getting access to the GPU resources like I would using Hashcat directly on Windows as an example. So it's actually gonna be slower here than using a very powerful GPU with Hashcat. But there you go, it's created the word list. There it is, mywordlist3.txt. That's the one that we specified. I'll clear the screen. Less mywordlist3.txt. You can see it starts with lowercase single characters, then it goes to uppercase single characters, then lowercase double characters, and then it's mixing them upper and lower, mixing with numbers. So we've got all the various combinations from one character, and then if I go to the end, to five characters. So as an example here, four nines, uppercase K, here we've got five nines. Scrolling up, you can see it's going through all of those different combinations. Now, I don't wanna bore you, but hopefully you get the idea. Crunch has created all the different combinations in this file. Going right to the beginning, there we go. So once again, that was from one to five. And this is just a matter of time. So if I wanna go through all those combinations, but I want it from eight to eight, this is gonna be a much bigger file. Notice this is a petabyte of data. So I'm gonna stop that now because that's just gonna take a long, long time to generate that file. You need to be careful with the sizes of files that you create. So I'll stop that at this point. Notice it ended at this point in the file. So it got to that point and then stopped. That's gonna take a long time to create and it's gonna create a huge amount of data. This is why the pre-built word lists in Kali are sometimes better because they are actual passwords rather than just trying to try every single combination to crack a password. This is brute force, it's clunky. It's just trying every single combination with a hope that we'll find the correct password. Now Crunch does once again have a lot of options. I suggest that you look at the manual because you can use special types of characters such as these to indicate a lowercase or uppercase or insert numbers or insert symbols. So as an example here, I've got four different character types. I'm gonna push that into word list four. Notice I've specified these special characters. So if I type less my word list five, I see all the different types of characters that can be used. So this includes uppercase, lowercase digits, as well as special characters in the password. So if I once again look at the man file, this is lowercase, uppercase, numbers, and symbols. Crunch has a lot of examples in the documentation. So again, have a look at the documentation for more options. I don't wanna make this video too long and show you all kinds of weird options. Just note that Crunch gives you a whole bunch of options to create passwords. But again, you may prefer using a list like RockU which are actual passwords that people have used in the real world rather than just creating a dictionary or word list of all kinds of passwords and using a brute force attack. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bumble, wanna wish you all the very best.